guys, very welcome to my channel. My name is Angelica and today I want to sit down and do a little get ready with me uh, and use some products that actually the beauty gurus had as their favorite 2019. So every like December, January, I'm obsessed with just like digging in to YouTube, look at all the beauty gurus, like best of makeup 2019. I love it. And I end up buying a lot because the products they are mentioning, it's the best of the best. It's the best of the year. So I'm really excited when these videos is coming up and I always tend to buy something. So I have done this <laughs> this year as well. So why not try it on? Uh, most of it I have tried on. Actually, I just have one first impression and it's a foundation. So I'm going to do a wear test as well. And I will check in with you later to see how it looks because every foundation fades on me. So let's start guys. Let's start with primer. So I have this fab primer. So this is the like first aid beauty. This is the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer. This is supposed to be like a moisturizer and a primer. So it's supposed to be like very moisture to like moisturize your skin and then blur out any like discoloration and pores. I know some of the March had this as a yearly favorite, so I'm going to try it out, but I'm just going to prime half of my face because we're going to do first impression on the foundation later. So let's start with this one. I have tried this, as I said, I'm going to prime this side. <laughs> Hopefully we will remember this. Maybe I should zoom in as well, but oh, it smells really, really nice. It doesn't have like a strong scent. When you think about coconuts, uh, maybe you think it's going to be a strong scent of coconut, but it's not. It just it's a very fresh scent to it. I don't think it's... Does it smell like coconut? I have no idea. I don't think so. I love coconut though, but I know a lot of people don't. So let's see. Now we have the half of my face with the primer and half of my face. My face always turns red when I like touch it, so maybe I just have to let it be a little while so we can see how it looks. So now I have zoomed you in and when I take a look, I mean, it didn't blur out my pores that much. I mean, a pore fill filling primer would do that a better job, but it actually feels really, really nice. And you can see, I don't know if it even, maybe even a little bit, um, just a little bit like blurring, but not that much, but it feels really, really nice anyway. It feels like a really, really nice moisturizer. Now for the most exciting part here. So I bought a foundation. This was not cheap, guys. This is the Sushado Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I haven't like unpacked this, so I hope the this shade is good. This is Shell. Um, and this is, I'm gonna, it looks like this, looks really, really pretty. I think, I hope the shade is okay. Oh my God. I'm very nervous because this was not, as I said, it looks quite pale. Well, anyways, I'm going to tell you about this. This is a foundation. I'm going to read it. This is a foundation that self refresh nonstop with active force technology. Our long wear fluid foundation synchronizes with skin and helps resist heat, humidity, oil and facial movements to maintain a just applied flawless finish that lasts 24 hours. We'll see about that. <laughs> it's weightless, breathable, blendable and buildable. And 81% of women uh, agreed that their skin looked fresh after 24 hours. And this was 100 women. And yeah, I'm very curious to see if this actually lasts. Every foundation fades on me, so we'll see about that. But I know Tati had this as a favorite. And I know she said that, you know, when you're making faces, you get these small lines everywhere. But this foundation... It didn't, <laughs> so I'm very curious. So let's start with this. I am super excited. Oh my God, how are you supposed to do? Ah, that's why. You just like, when you do like this, you can't press anything, but if you flip it, <laughs> you can. Oh my God, it was stupid of me. Here we have it. 
It looks a little bit pale. Oh, hopefully it is okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm going to apply it. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I hope <laughs> this shade will be okay. I always pick like shapes that are lighter. I don't know why. So I'm gonna use my sponge for this side, this primed side. Maybe it is a good shade actually. So it feels very smooth. I mean, I can't feel, it's supposed to feel like you don't have any foundation on and right now it actually feels like a moisturizer. So that's pretty good. And this is one layer. This is supposed to be like a medium coverage, but you can build it up. Yeah, I really, really like this. I will zoom it in. Can you see? It actually looks like skin. If you just compare it to this side, I mean, it looks very natural. It doesn't look cake at all or anything. It just looks very, very beautiful. And you have this sheen to it, like a natural glow to it. So with this side, I'm going to use um, foundation brush. This is from Morphe. This is the M439. Love this. So we're gonna just apply the foundation here. So maybe I should do like, I have to take one more pump for this. I think I'm gonna place it where I want it and go from there. I'm gonna see about the coverage when I use a brush versus when I use a sponge. When I use a brush, I like to like buff it in, just like how I do it right now. Just not to lose any product. Just make sure that everything is on my skin and not on the brush and not getting like uh, brush marks or what do you say? Like, let's see here guys. So now we have the side with a brush. I don't know if it's the same, maybe a little bit coverage. I will zoom it in as well. This is the brush side. And this is the sponge side. Oh, and I think the sponge side is a little more smoother. So I will go over with the sponge on this side as well, just to smoothen this out a little bit. This feels really, really nice. It is very lightweight, as it says, because you can't feel anything that you have a foundation and it looks so, so good. Oh my God, I'm really impressed actually. This is a first impression though, so we're gonna see during the day as well, but so far so good guys. Let's move on. So I don't have any new product with, when it comes to like concealer, but I know a lot of people had the Born This Way uh, Multi Sculpting Concealer as their favorite 2019. That's that's for me as well. This is my my holy grail. So I'm gonna use this one. I have mine in snow. It's a little too pale maybe, but I always make it work because we're gonna have some bronzer and all that. So I'm just gonna put it under my eye because I don't want too much concealer now when I'm doing like first impression on this foundation. So we can see how the foundation actually looks without a lot of concealer. I'm just gonna conceal under my eye and this is a beautiful concealer. I mean, this is worth every penny. You have a lot of product in it as well. So for the amount of product and the price, I think it's a pretty good deal. And I mean, this is just a lot of coverage. It blends out beautifully. It looks good 
all day because some of the concealers, if I have a very thick concealer like the Shape Tape, the Touch Shape Tape or the Maybelline uh, Infallible, the dupe for that, I did a video with that by the way, I will leave it up in the card when I dupe out my high-end makeup, but I mean it looks kind of thick during the day, but this one looks so so pretty. I love this, so this is definitely my number one when it comes to concealer. So powder, I don't have any new powder as well. I'm gonna take my Fit Me. I know a lot of people have this as a hol the, <laughs> the holy grail, but in the loose uh, powder formula, I don't have that. We don't have that in Sweden. So I'm gonna take this one, but this is so, so, ah, so, so good. It's just melts into your skin. It's so finely melt and I, I can just say pick this up if you want something under your eye and it gives a little bit of color So this is actually good for me because this concealer as I said is a little bit Lighter than I actually want it to be so when I put this on it's just it's just a flawless finish and The color actually is perfect. I don't know if I want to set my whole face and uh, now when I'm doing a first impression I'm just gonna set it like here and maybe here just a little bit I'm just very very careful here not to set it too much I mean I don't think you have to but we'll see what are we going to do now are we going to do the eyes first or no we're gonna do the face so I have a like a beauty youtuber I follow. Her name is Nikia Joy and I really like her channel because she does a lot of like face products. We don't have the same taste in like um, eyeshadows. I don't follow her to get like inspiration for eyeshadow or like eye looks but complexion products she's so good and she is a makeup artist and she had been talking about this e.l.f. let me see here <laughs> this e.l.f. aqua infused blush and bronzer duo for such a long time now she had it in her year yearly favorites it looks like this this is a cream to powder so this is actually a cream product like a bronzer and you have a blush and but when you put it on your skin it blends out beautifully it don't have that creaminess that a cream contour that is a cream 100% this turns into a powder and when you blend it it's just making you a flawless beautiful finish I'm gonna use like a more compact brush this is the buffing brush from Real Techniques and I'm just like getting in there it looks kind of dark but it's not so I really like it and then I just start to place this so I'm just start to placing this bronzer and then I just like start to buff this out and it gives you like a beautiful flawless bronzing effect. I have a really hard time to work with 100% cream product uh, but this one is something special and it kind of feels like your skin is airbrushed and it gives you this smoothness. I can't like explain it. I don't know if you can see, but I really hope so. It looks like a really, really nice natural, um, the side, <laughs> natural bronzing effect. So I really, really like it. It was a good tip actually. So, and I will use the blush as well because the blush is more pigmented, but it is very very pretty and it's easy as well to use it so as I said I really really like this it looks so so pretty as you can see I have really been enjoying this lately I will tell you that I have more complexion products so before I go into this one I will just go into this one so this is from Idun this is a Swedish brand so this was in Margareta Gress um, yearly favorites. Margareta Gress is a Swedish YouTuber, beauty YouTuber. I love her channel, but she talks in Swedish uh, on her channel, so 
but I don't know if you can have like subtitle or so, but she has an amazing channel. I will link all the channels I talk about down below, of course. She mentioned this one as her yearly favorite. This is the Fresh F Face Palette. Oh my God, you have a mirror. This is so cute, you guys. This is so, so pretty. You have a bronzer here, like a matte bronzer. You have like a um, shiny bronzer. This is supposed to be like a very, very shiny blush. And this is a highlighter. This is blinding. I have used this a lot and I really, really like it. But if you don't like warm bronzers, this is not for you. I like a warm bronzer. I like a warm tone to my face. I'm going to dip into this one, this matte bronzer, just to bronze up my um, over here because <laughs> I'm always paler there. So that's why I need to do that just to try all these products out for you guys because now we have already a bronzer on this elf bronzer but maybe I can just dip into I'm gonna dip into this that is more illuminating and just place it in top of that other bronzer this is pigmented but it's so easy to blend out and it gives you really a nice glow. Really, really love it. Looks fresh and beautiful. And I love the small apples in this one. So, so cute. Very easy to have with you because it's a very, very like lightweight. Yeah. So I'm gonna contour with the Nabla. Let me see here. This Nabla contour shade. This is the Gotham. This is... I mean, Shanixo is one of the YouTubers I watch every video on, almost every video, like beauty related video. And she is amazing. I love her. I love her personality. And she was talking about this Nabla. She loves it. And I also bought this Gotham. And I mean, it's so, so good as a contour shade. So I'm just going to contour. She was blown away and she mentioned it in her yearly favorite, even if it was very late 2019, that she actually, <laughs> I don't know if she had used it just maybe a few weeks, but she had to mention it because she had like, she was obsessed with this and I love Nabla as well. So I know Lisa Lobotomi also have these as her favorites. And yeah, they are super good. I'm gonna go into this elf again and we're going to use the blush now. So I'm just dipping in and I'm gonna see how beautiful this is. Look at that. This just makes your cheeks like a little more pinkish and very, very pretty. As I said, I have been enjoying this e.l.f. Uh, duo a lot. I really like the formula of this. And as I said, she talked about this so much. And actually, she talked about another powder that I actually bought just because of her. So she had it as her yearly favorite. And it's the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. So this is a powder foundation. I will just show you. I have mine in almond. Uh, this is how it looks. It is like a compact powder. Uh, it looks pale now, but it's quite a little bit dark for me, actually. So I would just do like this and then start to buff it in. And then I don't know if you can see, but it gets darker while you just like apply it and buff it in. And you open this up and you have this small puff here. And this is perfect actually just to for touch up or to apply with. So you get a really nice um, result with that one. So I'm not going to use it today because it will be too much on my face. And I don't want to put too much on when I have this foundation. But I can just tell you I like it, but it is it gets darker so beware if you see a shade that you like maybe you should go <laughs> a shade lighter so let's move on this is a Swedish brand Kix this is the glow kit this is also Margareta Gress that had this as her yearly favorite it's a highlighter palette looks like this you have a little mirror I'm just gonna dig into this color right here this icy color and this slightly gold highlighter so I'm just dipping into both of these and we're gonna apply it and it is very very pretty I think it's I mean it's not the most blinding highlighter I have 
but it certainly is very beautiful. I don't know if I would put this like in my yearly favorite, but we are, everyone is different. Everybody thinks differently. I'm not I mean, I'm not regretting buying it, but I know I have a lot of highlighters that I actually love more, but it gives you really, really nice glow, more like a natural glow, but also not too little. So you actually have a pretty decent highlighting effect, as you can see. So I, I actually really like it but not my favorite, as I said. So now let's go into the eyes. I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm going to zoom you guys in even more, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm going to use. So this is not in a yearly favorite. I just need to play with this because this is the Moonspell palette from Lunar Beauty. This is like, this is the most beautiful packaging I have ever seen. So it looks like a book and the palette looks like this, guys. I have played with this off camera. I don't know. I just want to play with it more. This is not my favorite palette though. I love the packaging, but I don't know. I don't feel inspired enough to use it. I have used, yesterday I did a look with this green. This is beautiful. Blend it out with this one and put this on my lid. So it was more like a grungy. Uh, this is very glittery. So it was very, very beautiful. But I thought this one, my thought on this one, this one, I would love to see this one to be more brighter uh, because when you mix these two, not mix, but you blended this one out with this one, it gets like a little muddy mess and I would like to, I don't know, there are some things in this one that I really want to change, but anyway, I got it for 50% off, so I'm not complaining. I'm going to do a look with this and I'm going to prime my eyes, going to zoom you in. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, let's start with this Moonspell palette. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but uh, probably I want to use the purple one. I'm going to start with the darkest purple, this one. This is the Sabrina. And as I said, I don't know. I don't know. This is not my favorite one as a Z. I don't know. Do, do people like it? Do you like it? Do you have it? I just feel like, eh, like that. I'm going to take this. Purple. This purple is beautiful. Oh, oh my god. This is pigmented and beautiful. Maybe I will. I think that it is the color story. I would prefer some more shades and maybe um, skip some of the shades and put in another shade. I don't know. It's something about it. And as I said, that light green looks very, very like bright, but it's not. I think it is quite sheer. It doesn't give that much brightness. So my thought when I would, when I did the look yesterday, it was like, I wanted to blend the edges of that darkest green that is a little more on the muddy side which i like but i wanted to blend it out with a this light green and it's supposed to not be that muddy like brighten up but it didn't it just mudded up <laughs> and i didn't like that maybe i'm going to i don't know can i i'm going in with this one actually i'm gonna see how this is on. Maybe I will. <laughs> I don't know if I'm dare to do this. Is this going to muddy up or maybe not? I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just taking this one. Maybe I want it like that. I don't know why I took it here first. That was stupid. Maybe I thought I wanted to layer it but I don't want that. Sometimes I'm just going with the flow. I don't know. Most of the time, actually. <laughs> but this is a beautiful color, though, so I'm gonna... Like that, maybe try to blend this a little bit together where they meet. I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to intensify this blue shadow or aqua. I'm 
this in the crease just to blend it with that purple. I'm going in with this peach now. This one, this is the lighter pinkish purple. I'm gonna blend the edges of this outer part right here with that one. I'm going to run this underneath as well, like half of my under eye. I actually wanted, hmm, actually wanted this on my lid. I don't know. I'm gonna take this, swatch it, and I'm gonna swatch this, and I'm going to swatch this. So let's see what we're going to have here. I like this, oh, this one because it's very, very creamy. Um, this is quite sheer and this is very like very very purple hmm I'm actually going to take this Fiona this color first and then I'm going to take this one and then we'll see so I'm going to spray my brush Actually, a really pretty color. I really like that. Maybe like half of my lid because I really like that color. <laughs> Can you see it? It's very, very pretty. I'm gonna take this Piper, probably this Phoebe, like in my inner section of my lid, but I'm gonna start with this Piper. I'm gonna pull a lid here. Oh, 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 I don't know if you can see, this is a lot of fallout. <laughs> No, I'm going to take this all the way. And I'm just going to tap it where they meet. This can actually be a really cool eye look. You know, when you have the purple in here and you have the purple in the crease and you have the blue there. I kind of really like it. <laughs> it got a little bit crunchy here. really like that. Doing the same here. Now I got it a little bit under my eye. I'm gonna fix that. Look at that, that is pretty. And I'm just intensifying the crease colors a little bit here. I'm happily surprised about this. So under my eye, I'm going to do kind of the same. Like, I'm going to take this Nancy color, the blue one in my inner part. and the purple in my outer part. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to take this Prue, this one, and I'm going to spray it and hopefully it will stay in my inner corner because this is more crumbly. This is a shadow, this is a very bright purple. Dual chrome, well it really pops. Really like how this turned out, guys, oh my god. Well. Uh, it's good I used this one again and I'm gonna fish out with my eyes. I have nothing revolutionary here. I'm gonna use my uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I know a lot of people love that. So I'm just gonna do that and I'll be right back guys. So now I'm back with the finished look. I really like it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I put something in my waterline. I put this Vicon Jade Green, right? Uh, yeah, this is a long lasting eyeliner. It's an uh, Italian brand. I am going to do my lips now. So I don't have like, um, I didn't run out and got a lip product because all of these videos. So I'm just gonna grab something I have. Um, I don't know if I put it on my list. It's a lip liner from Kix. I actually wanna try the NYX lip liner. I've heard good things about them, but this one is super creamy and I am going to take this. This is in the shade, this is a nude, and this is a shade Cream Dream. And just gonna line my lips and fill them in. And I'm not gonna do them as, you know, fake fillers. <laughs> I have a video on that. It was so much fun, but I mean, I'm never gonna do that and go out. I don't feel comfortable in that. I, it was a fun video to do though. So as you can see, it's kind of my lips, but better. And then I'm gonna put a gloss on. I wanna put this like iridescent a clear lip gloss with a lot of glittery sparkles in it from Colourpop. So this is an ultra gl 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 glossy lip and this is in the shade Atta Girl. I 
don't know if you can see, but it is like an iridescent sparkle to it, almost like a purpley bluish casted. I really like it. And now we just have one product left and it's setting spray and it's this L'Oreal Shake and Glow. And this is a setting spray that will make your makeup last longer and it will give you like a glow. And let me see who had this as a favorite. Well, it was Margarita Gras. I know a lot of people had this as well. So I went out and bought it. I have been eyeing this and when I saw her video, I was like, I need to get it. <laughs> This one smells so good and it's so fine spritz on this one. I have used it before. It gives you a really nice glow and yeah, I really, really like this one. Really highly recommend it for you guys. Yeah, guys, this was it. Let's take a look at the foundation. Let's see here. Have it been like, I think it's been an hour. Uh, still looks so good. It looks like skin. It looks beautiful, flawless. Every single foundation fades on me, so it will be very, very easy to me to see if this actually don't fade. I don't think. I think it will fade, but how much and does it look good and all that. So I'm very curious to see that. So I will come back and show you how it looks, but I'm going to give you a close up now. So here I'm back for a check-in. It's been 12 hours and the foundation looks good. Um, I can't see any different from the prime side uh, versus the non-prime side, but it really, really looks nice. It looks very, very natural still. It's very like skin looking and I can just say it has faded a little bit around my nose, but I have blown my nose. So uh, that's probably it. And a little bit around here. I really try this time not to like touch my face that much or that my daughter is going to put her hands in my face and so on. But it looks so, so good. I think when you look at the areas, I will zoom you in as well, but if you look at the areas around here, I can see that it has faded and where it has faded a little bit, it has faded beautifully. I have a little bit of oiliness picking through. Um, I don't know why, but now these days I actually have a problem that after a while, and it doesn't have to do with the foundation, but after a while I get a little bit oily. So now I have zoomed you in and I really hope you can see how it looks that it really really looks good um and i don't know if you can see that it has faded a little bit here but i really hope you can see how good my skin looks and as i said just around this area in here i'm a little bit shiny and that's the oily thing picking through as i said but can you see this is so so good is this like a new holy grail for me I will just try this more and maybe I should try it with a second layer and like powder it all over and try that. But I think I am so, so impressed, guys. I will try to see if I can make this a little bit darker. Maybe you can see it easier. How it actually looks. No, it really was up close. I can't say anything bad about this. It feels like, you know, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Uh, maybe I forgot to tell you that, but it doesn't feel heavy on your skin at all, as it says. And me, I mean, all the foundation fades on me. So this is the only foundation that is a little more like medium coverage that doesn't fade away. I mean, yeah. Just as I said, when I blow my nose and here, I mean, it looks so, so good. I am so happy and I'm so happy that this was a shade that actually looked really, really nice on me because I chose it online. So I wasn't in a store to try it out. So I'm pretty happy about that. And yeah, let's go back to the video. So now you have seen the, my chicken. I have no idea if it's good or not because I'm going to end this video now. But I really hope you enjoy this video. I really hope you will subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, click on the notification bell. Then you will be 
notified every time I upload a new video. Usually that is Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And I hope to see my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.